coaxed three ground ball double plays. Oh, that hit the runner. And the runner is out of smash that got Jackson. And Martinez will have to retreat to third base. So not a double play grounder, which might have been the result. Here comes Ron Gartenhire to. And so is Paul Molitor saying, hey. Can we get a double play ruling here? The ball was hit right at Escobar. And it, yeah, that was a that was a type of ground ball that routinely would be a double play. I don't know how I really don't know the rule on this. I'm so. going to look it up because the appeal from the Twins dugout is that it is within the umpire's prerogative to rule here comes a Joe, double play. Joe West is slowly working his way over to this argument. He is the crew chief, so Gardy doesn't even want to talk to him. He knows the <laughs> the history between the two of them. Ron Gardenhire saying, well, the ball was hit right at the shortstop. It was a Taylor made double play grounder, and it hit the runner. Well, rarely do you get to see a good argument anymore. Gardney's getting heated up yeah. here. There it is. Joe West doing what he's done so many times. It's almost like he antagonized Gardney well, into this one. I'm just curious why at third base he even entered the discussion to be the primary umpire in the discussion. He is the crew chief. But we will as soon as we can try to get you the rule. We we'll get to see the ground ball here. You can see that at second base Austin Jackson was breaking towards third and the ball clearly hit him easily but it was a quick ball that you can see right here that the runner was barely getting out of the box and they would have had a play at second which would have led you to believe that there is a chance for a double play there. 